Stephen Sheeta is in Wheaton tonight with that part of our story. Stephen? Maureen, this cold weather is more than just uncomfortable. It is causing some major problems. At George Washington University Hospital, there was a water pipe break that led to some flooding, and more than 20 patients had to be moved. Here in Wheaton, you can see behind me, major work underway on a 12-inch water main, which ruptured yesterday. Several businesses, hundreds of people still without water. Dozens of water mains burst since the sub-freezing temperatures set in. While repair crews tried to isolate a major break in Wheaton, Casey Hilton hoped for their success from her empty salon. Can't do manicures, pedicures, nothing. The water main rupture also left hundreds of residents of the Ambassador Apartments dry. The WSSC brought in some bottled water to help out. Yeah, we're relying on that, and some of us have our own water, and some people just do without. Here's at the Wheaton Animal Hospital, Delano woke up after surgery to bottled water. Because we got a lot of bottled water. Expensive, but clean. Water main succumbed to the cold in Virginia as well, while crews had to manually open the HOV lanes on 395. The gates don't work so well on their own in this cold. A blazing sun could not break the icy grip on the region. Very cold. My hand freeze. The wind which accompanied the cold stung those who ventured out. Really cold. Some tried creative ways to beat the cold. It's very good. At the Maravana restaurant, they offered a creative method to warm their patrons. So you could feel it warming, <laughs> warming you up because it's so cold outside. Uh, no warm up out here. Now, the biggest challenge here in Wheaton was locating the rupture. This crew has found where the break is in the water main. They are hoping to get it repaired within the next few hours. They are optimistic that it will be fixed by tomorrow morning's rush. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.